All right, so here we are, North Wilkesboro Speedway. Obviously a ton of history here. We got Cole Custer, Austin Sendrick, Greg Galding, all here with Panini today. We're gonna talk about some trading cards, talk about a little history of this racetrack. First off, I mean, like, how cool is this? So Panini, you know, a lot of times they send us a bunch of trading cards, mm -hmm. right? It's a sign, right? And they put them in the packs and they, you know, exclusive. And sometimes they have some really cool stuff in it, right? They have tires, they have your race suit, they may have parts of your car, um, your shoes, uh, and they don't even smell, which is, I don't know how they take the scent out of the shoes. <laughs> does your autograph stay the same? Like, does your autograph change as it goes along? Or are you able to stay consistent? Because so, I try to keep it nice, but eventually your arm too. gets tired. always so that I'm, one. So this I'm, one you're gonna screw up. Like, what happens to the one you screw you up? You feel so bad. I'm, I set the first one out, and then I set the last one and compare the two. Because it always it always changes. Like you, you become so detail oriented with your first couple yeah. and the last few you're just nah or you're doing whatever you can. Yeah. yeah. So if you, yeah. if you do screw one up, what do you like I make it special. So I'll like put like a smiley face or like a heart or like you know one of one. One of one. <laughs> one of one. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it makes it human. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that probably more Not than a machine. Like your regular autograph. Exactly. <laughs> right? How about um in today, right? So so you, you know you're professional race car drivers and so there's a lot of you know race fans that they either send in fan mail the one thing that i sign the most is trading cards that people collect right and it, yeah. it's, there's always that there's always a memory that comes along with it when i see it at least but what is a you know a cool story for you cole that 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 you remember it, someone gave you a trading card and it was it was you and you know maybe it was a cool moment or uh something with a fan or something like that well the crazy things is like when you get fan mail of like just where it's came from like mm. you get stuff i've gotten stuff from like germany before it's like it's no <laughs> sense but it's like he has my trading card and i'm signing this thing for him and it's like it's just unreal you know like and you have to pinch yourself like you're i mean you would have dreamed to be in this kind of situation i guess as a kid you know yeah so it's just it's amazing like where they get to, I guess, is, it's just amazing. The fact that people are, are sending the, their cards or my cards to me from Panini is like, is really cool. And um, and, and a lot of times, what I what I really enjoy is like, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but do you guys get like letters or like messages yeah. like with yeah. yours? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, like if, That's if, the a, best part. if it's like a real personal message, like, hey, Gray, you know, been following you for, you know, 10 years, you know, really love watching you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll actually get my own notepad and I'll write them back a message. And and, and that to me is like a, a really cool thing is to, to connect with them, even though it's through the mail, but they can always keep that message that I gave back to them. The reason why I, I like to do that because I put myself in their shoes when I was a kid. If I would have got a, a note from like you or Jeff Gordon, that would have made, I would have been on cloud nine. It might just take me five seconds out of my day to write a small note thanking them for their support. Goes a mile. Man, it goes a mile. Did you guys like that video? Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Click the subscribe button below to see more.